Hi guys, it's Saturday morning. I got notification that I had something in my mailbox. So I'm here at the post office. <gasps> Look at this card and the beautiful shoes and they're sparkly. This is from Karen. Thank you so much. You guys are so good to me. And she found, I'm so excited, some more plant hangers. She got me two of the black and the green to green oh thank you there we go i can't wait to hang these up and put my plants outside this summer i think i'm gonna put these on my patio oh thank you so very much i appreciate it wholeheartedly and i'm gonna put this i'm gonna start a scrapbook with all my cards i've been saving we are now headed to joanne I bought, let me make sure I have it. Yes, I do. I bought a hole punch, a Fiskars that doesn't actually punch. It's not working, so I'm going to take this back and get a new one. It's probably just effective, which is perfectly fine. And I have a coupon. I was just there yesterday and bought all the floss, I thought, for a couple projects. Now, they were out of one color, which is fine. Um, I can go back and get that one, but I picked up two other colors that weren't, they weren't right. I thought I grabbed the right numbers, but they weren't when I got home. I had two colors and they were not in the, they weren't the right number. So I must've just either grabbed in the wrong compartment or they were put in the wrong compartment. So I'll have to get two more. And then I bought some fabric to make a project bag for my cross stitch. Vanilla. Vanilla bean, I think it's called. Let me plug in. So we are headed there. Well, that stopped my video. I plugged in and it died. I have to go to CVS and pick up some prescriptions. And then I need to go to Joanne and return that punch. Sarah and Luna, my niece and her dog, are at my house hanging out with the cats. I think she's doing her taxes or something equally fun on a Saturday morning. I get a lot of questions because I always forget to mention who Sarah is. Sarah is my niece. She is my oldest brother's daughter. She is 28 now and a teacher. She teaches high school English and I love her. And she comes to my house. Uh, she's from Columbus. A lot of her friends live here. She teaches not in Columbus the Columbus area but she comes to town and she I think she had meetings yesterday but she comes to town and hangs out with me because we like each other when we start planning our trip to Ireland I will it was supposed to be this year but it got pushed back to next year but when we start planning you'll hear a lot about Sarah because I have you know she and I are going and possibly some cousins but we'll see who ends up going this is what I know I'm going in probably the first week of June potentially July depends date hasn't been solidified that depends on who's going but I'm going in June or July to Ireland we're gonna go to Dublin and then do some day touring or overnight little tours around the country I don't know where we're gonna make it to yet first we'll book the trip get our hotel and everything situated and then we'll Plan the things that we would like to do. I definitely, definitely want to um, see the Cliffs of Moher. Um, that is a couple hours east, I believe, of Dublin. Now, my family is from Armagh, which is in Northern Ireland. I don't know if we'll make it. I don't know. I would love to, but... Um, and by my family, my, my maternal grandfather... Sam uh, was the first generation of his family. So his parents came here from Ireland on their honeymoon. They had family here and they brought with them my great great aunt Anne. She was a maiden aunt, never married, and she came to this country to help take care of a, re a cousin's child who had Down syndrome. I don't know what they called it at the time. This was a hundred years ago or so. Not really, but um, she came with my great-grandparents over on a boat 
they escorted her and she helped them and then um they were here about five years i think five six years and my great grandmother died from the flu leaving her husband with two children a preemie who had some special needs and my grandfather and then a year later he died of the flu and so my great great aunt Anne raised my grandfather and his brother there some family history <laughs> um and i know her maiden name was drummond which I believe is Scottish, and his maiden, his name was Gamble. And I definitely know they're from Armagh and Ireland, but I believe she is probably Scottish. Drummond is a very Scottish name, but who knows? All right, well, I'm at CVS. And, oh, I'll show you project when I get home on my cross stitch. My cat is almost done. Um, this is where I tell you if you're more interested or are interested in my knitting crochet projects needle felting wool all the I call them I believe they're more like artisan crafts that kind of stuff I have a separate channel it's called the Cambridge way and there is a link in the box below that will take you there I have two videos up it is not something I do daily weekly probably will end up being every other week although if I decide to make my project bag tomorrow I will make a video of that and put it up over there um, because that's a craft, a sewing thing like that. I will have a DIY up this week. I'm going to make those topiaries from the Dollar Tree. I just needed to get some moss, I believe. So, yes. All right. I will talk with y'all soon. Hey, guys. I'm doing some housey type work. I'm making iced tea. I have a tea kettle that boils. Right here. Brought it to boil an old glass Pyrex and I put one of this berry oh, berries tea I love berries tea it is so good and it makes a great iced tea so I put one tea bag in there it's pretty strong so that's good and three of my sugar packets and that will make me enough iced tea to fill this big cup I can make more but it's so quick I just let it steep for a while and then I will add ice to it. Uh, this is my calm drink. I have a mess going on over here. I need to clean up. Try to put everything away. Get the house tidied. It's Saturday. I'm working at my other job tonight. Um, my family knows I'm a cat lady. And they get me all the cat stuff for my house, which is nice. I love it. And... I have tea mess back here. I have to also, I'm getting ready to run out and take my screen to be repaired. I'll show you in a second. Um, I have a local hardware store. It's called Zettler down the street from me. And they actually still do replace screens, like home screens. So we'll let you do that. You are, this is just my Starbucks cup I've been using for a few weeks. And I think we had coffee this morning. Sarah was here. I think I mentioned that earlier. She likes coffee too. So we have her morning. She's headed home with her little dog. I've been to Joanne's twice in two days. Crazy. I bought a puncher, a paper puncher, to make um, thread drops for my cross stitching to hold my floss which I love but the puncher didn't work so I returned it and then I needed to pick up some floss I'm almost done with my cat I'll show you in a little bit and then I need to do or start a new one um, oh so here's my screen that my cat has shredded I don't know if you'll be able to see when he's done yeah he has shredded this this sits in a bay window right by my front porch and that's how he lets me know he wants in. I'm like, dude, I know you want in. I will let you in. You don't need to tear up the house. So that's going to the hardware store. And hopefully they have the cat screen, which should be a little stronger, they said. So we're doing that. 
I went, like I said, to Joanne. I need to run to Michael's while I'm out. They were, Joanne was out of one color floss. I need to start my next project. So I'll go pick that up at, hopefully Michael's has it. And then I'm getting ready for my work. I don't know what I'm having this week for lunch. We need to figure that out, friends. I don't know. But I do know my kitchen is a mess. I need to put stuff away like my giant foil. I made bacon this morning. I bake it on a sheet pan. And yeah, I'm just tidying up in here, trying to wipe down everything. I need to put stuff away. This was the old, from Ikea, I think. Nope, this is Rubbermaid, but it was the old cat food container that I used to keep uh, Wellington's food in. But uh, he doesn't, I got a bigger container for him, so I'll put that in the garage. I also got some Tension Tamer from iHerb, where I get the berries tea from, and it's good. I need to take some of that to work. They were sold out the last time I tried to buy it, so I'm going to go on here in a minute and do an order, see if they got it back in stock. Yeah, and I will check in with you in a little bit. Okay, I just dropped my screen off at my local hardware store, and if you're curious, let me see if there's a measurement. I don't know. It's a standard window size and with the pet screen which was extra it cost me $23.44 to have it restrung to have it rescreened now yes you can do it on your own I'm not going to I'm going to tell you that I will gladly pay $23 to have somebody fix my screen with the extra pet the extra sturdy pet screen it looks a little darker. I may need to bring... So my bay has two windows. I may need to bring the other one in just so they're the same color. But that's fine. For now, we'll get this one home, get it installed, and call it a day. Now I'm off to Michael's. I need one skein of floss. One. Ooh. My tea is sweet. I love it. Barry's tea is the best. I just ordered some more. Right, and just in case you need a moment of my cuteness, here's Wellington. He's so cute. Right, Dubs? Baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You say hi. Oh, here comes Alex. My little house panthers. And you say hi. Hmm? He doesn't like his back scratch too much. I know, baby. There's the boys. Is him your friend? Uh-uh. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We are going to make for lunches this week, hopefully, some egg wraps that I had left over. We're going to make little pizzas. So in here, I have um, just some mozzarella cheese and a little bit of garlic. And then in a pan back here, I melted some butter and garlic to baste them with, just because yum. So we are going to make a mixture of a little pizza sauce, some mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni. You could do anything you want. I'm going basic on this first round because I've never made this before. And then we're going to um, cook it in the oven. I'm going to make like a burrito. And I'm going to bake it at 350 degrees. I don't know, until the cheese melts. We're making this up, guys. We are making it up. All right. A little more sauce. Because we're making a fair amount of these. I don't know how many. I can't remember how many wraps I have left, but I think 10. But we'll see. I think I need a little more cheese if I'm going to make that many, right? We'll just make a big batch of this, um, more mozzarella, more sauce, because I can just um, cook it or freeze it and use it for future batches. Not a big deal. Okay. Now, you don't want it too wet with the sauce. One, pasta sauce, or this is spaghetti sauce, has a fair amount of uh, carbohydrates in it. So, you just want to be careful of that. And then I bought little mini pepperonis to go in here. Um, 
You could get the big ones. Just cut them up is what I would do. You, or you could put them in whole. That's on you. For me, I'm just going to make this concoction, if you will. And then a little Parmesan cheese. Because I like that. Oh, come on. Not too much. It does absorb the sauce and will make it dry. But just a little bit for flavor. I'm a fan of Parmesan on my pizza. Or Romano or whatever. Alright, so we have everybody together. The oven is coming up to temperature. So we are going to make one. Let me see if I can get you a better view here. There we go. So this is one of the egg wraps. It's very much like a quiche. You do not want to overfill them. So I may have made too much mix, but that's okay. We'll do two scoops. Two scoops. And then what I do, and you're actually sitting on a pan a baking pan with um, parchment. There we go. Oh, that looks delicious. And you just want to be delicate. These are very fragile. But that's what they're going to look like. So let me wrap all these up, and then I'll bring you back before I put them in the oven. They're all wrapped up. I had nine, nine wraps uh, left. And I was thinking two for lunch each day. And like I said, this is just a little butter with some garlic in it. I don't want these to get crunchy, so I thought I would butter them. Plus, I mean, yum. And then I will sprinkle some salt on them. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I've got a road trip possibly in September if I get into this stitching retreat I want to go to in Toronto. I can. They're having a pizza party on Friday night. I can just make these, bake them, and then freeze them, and then have them for meals for the pizza party, heat up a couple in the microwave in my room, bring them down, and have a pizza party with everybody else. Uh, this was probably a teaspoon of garlic powder, I didn't have fresh, and then like two tablespoons of butter. So nothing dramatic, um, but I think it'll help keep the... Um, egg sheets from drying out too much while the cheese melts. And then I'll just sprinkle the tiniest little bit of salt just to give them a little salty flare on the outside because uh, yum, right? Okay, now we're going to put them in the oven for, I'm going to start with 15 minutes and I'll show you when they're done. Here we go, guys. I'm going to eat one now because they look delicious. But it needs to cool. The top got a little crunchy, but the sides stayed soft. So that's exciting. And I'm sure it's going to be delicious. All right, next up, we're going to do some sewing. All right, guys, I'm up in my craft space. As you can see behind me, I'm getting ready to um, create a project bag for my cross stitch. So I got some fabrics that match. This is for the Notions pouch. This is for the main pouch. So I'm just kind of cleaning up and getting ready to sew to make that. And I can bring you along for a little bit of it. I need to get the ironing board out, press my fabrics, get everybody cut and my measurements set up. And I'm having some, I went to Walmart. I'm not a huge fan of Walmart, not gonna lie, but I went to Walmart today, I took my brother grocery shopping. He doesn't drive and um, they had the Bigelow salted caramel tea, it's so good. So I grabbed that, just did my grocery shopping. And you saw me making the pizza wraps for lunch. They were really good, by the way. Next time I'm gonna make them with hamburger pepperoni so more meat less cheese but they were good but i would like less cheese the next time all right well we're gonna get set up and i will show you what i'm doing all 
All right, guys, we are finishing up this evening. I am loading a video for the Cambridge Way. We made uh, bags today. And what am I doing? Just sitting here. Wellington has decided he's going to sit on my arm. What are you going to do, Alex? Well, come here. Come here. These animals are silly. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Monday vlog, and I will talk to you later.